Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is on geology and rock layers and looking at different types of unconformities. This is the Earth Science Classroom. If you dig down in the Earth's crust, let's say with a canyon or a mine, or you have a river and it exposes the canyon walls, like with the Grand Canyon, you might find a point on the canyon wall where there's two rock layers and there is a point or a division that is not parallel, smooth or horizontal. It is jagged and uneven. This could be an unconformity. This basically is where there was erosion and weathering occurring when that bottom layer was on the surface and then over time it was buried under subsequent rock layers and this uneven interval between the rock layers between the younger one above and the older one below is still there this unconformity is trapped in a time capsule and it basically indicates that there was a time period or, or a hiatus where there was no deposition of new sediments accumulating and there was a time a period of weathering and erosion and this surface was exposed to the elements on the surface and then something happened where there was new deposition and it became buried under new layers of sediments and rocky material and formed this unconformity so now we know what unconformity is it's that time period break between the rock layers, there are different types. There are three main types and one type which is not as common and one type which is very rare. So the angular unconformity, the disconformity and the non-conformity, they're your three main common unconformities. The paraconformity and a buttress unconformity, other ones are not as common. This type of unconformity is what James Hutton saw at Sicker Point off the coast of Scotland near Edinburgh. Now, this was an angular unconformity where he saw an angled, tilted rock layer, and then above it was a horizontal sedimentary rock. The angled rock was actually metamorphic. Now, the A rock here is the angled, tilted rock layer that's older, that's been tilted. There's some sort of forces, tectonic forces applied to this rock layer lettered A, which has forced it to become angled and tilted, maybe through folding or through erogeny. And then there was the unconformity, this dark line here that's blue is showing you where the erosion and weathering occurred on the surface at the point when in Earth's history, this rock layer A was at the surface being eroded and then there was subsequent later on layers of B rock which is limestone and then C let's say it's conglomerate being laid above it but you have this angled lower rock older rock being buried and covered by horizontal rocks above it that are younger so C and B this is an angular unconformity the next type of unconformity is a disconformity. This is related to an unconformity in between layers of sedimentary rock. Now, the older rock layer labeled A is the one that has the unconformity and the top part has been weathered and eroded, causing this uneven, dark, bolded blue line, which is showing the unconformity. Then you had younger limestone being deposited on top over this unconformity with a body of water as shown, which is producing the limestone over time, which is the layer B. So this is between different layers of sedimentary rock. This next type of unconformity is called a non-conformity. This is where you have different types of rocks either side of the unconformity. So you have sedimentary rock above the unconformity, this dark, bolded blue line, and you have an igneous or metamorphic rock layer, layer A, which is older and has been eroded and weathered at the point in time where this was at the surface, it was being eroded and weathered, and then subsequent younger, more recent sedimentary rocks are laid down on top of the igneous or metamorphic. So this is same as a discontinuity However, it involves a metamorphic or igneous rock that's older at the bottom, deeper, which has the unconformity. 
So the previous three are more common. This one is a paraconformity. This is a bit more unique and a bit more rare around the world. This is a unconformity where there is a period of time that's missing from deposition and there's a time or an expanse of time or hiatus where there is erosion and weathering. However, there is no clear indication, no uneven surface. They're both horizontal and parallel to each other and the unconformity is not very visible. It's not very clear compared to the other ones, the non-conformity disconformity or the angular they're more obvious they're more easy to spot whereas this paraconformity is a unconformity by definition but very hard to identify now the next is a uh, buttress or buttress unconformity this is where you have an underlying metamorphic or igneous rock rock a and you have this unconformity separating the igneous metamorphic with let's say the sedimentary on top which is the rock b and you have the weather and erosion. However, it's called a buttress because this is this middle part of the diagram is showing this protruding igneous or metamorphic rock formation going higher in elevation. And you have the subsequent later deposition of sedimentary rock, the sediments being laid around this already protruding rock formation above the ground which is igneous or metamorphic so it's a non-conformity whereby you have the unconformity on the top part of the igneous metamorphic rock but in this case you have this protruding higher elevation change of relief and topography of this protruding igneous or metamorphic rock and then the sedimentary rock is basically laid and deposited around it so it's called a buttress or buttress unconformity Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.